Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $119,788.73. In the past year, I am up $53,874.49. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $27,000. $548.22 Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $3,017.20. After hours, I am up $202.01. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $2,000. $432. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return $237. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return $60. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return $250. I'm selling Target $145 covered call. Expiration date is December 20th. My total return, I'm down $110. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $1,553. I have Verizon $47, $49 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $650. I'm selling Disney $70 calls. Sorry, I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $3,511. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.45. My average cost $188.27. My total return I am down $546.38. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $10.96. My average cost $5.70. My total return $33,674.05. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $150.02. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, $121.50. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $54.87. My average cost, $54.86. My total return, $6. This is a margin account. My margin total is $104,476.13. My margin used is $61,089.12. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $33,387.01 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $57,990.01. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05% and the daily interest I'm paying is $10.10. I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So green day for me today. I'm at around 120k again if you round up. Um, not much to report here. I have the same positions as last time in my previous portfolio update and I haven't gotten anything new. I haven't gotten rid of anything so it's all still the same. I'll keep on making more updates, but for now, this is 
just another update where I just kind of show what's going on, but uh, I didn't really do anything. And most of the time, I really don't do anything with my portfolio. Um, I kind of just wait until either close to the expiration date or the expiration date. And then I uh, either let my options expire or I roll them out. But for now, I didn't do anything uh, since my last update. All right. That's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll keep on making more videos like this. So if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.